Hello everyone, hello everyone, and welcome back to our video. It's anything it's most global TV. Today we have again Paul Wash. We talk about the gospel. It's really important for you uh, to share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. But sometimes it can be difficult to share the gospel with an atheist. In this video, it will help you to know how to share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ with an atheist. And I'm sure this video will bless you and also will help you and please you can share this video and all the video in our platform so that you can bless someone else and may god bless you as you do so you are blessed and may god bless you more see you in the next video shalom any sincere question any sincere genuine question deserves a sincere answer uh, but know this that all the answers from science, culture, whatever, is not going to convert her. It's going to be the gospel. Always go to the gospel, the gospel, the gospel. How does a man, let, let me give an example. There's a brother I know in the mountains of Peru. He was pagan, pagan Catholic which is, as many of you know, in Latin America, it's a mixture of a paganism and a Catholicism. The whole village was. One day, a little man, unimpressive, came in there and shared a gospel message. Immediately, this man believed. The next day, the whole village got together and they were going to, it's a thing they will do for punishment. They were going to bathe him in boiling oil, boiling water if he didn't recant. Now, I want you to think about something. He hears a message that contradicts his entire tribe, his entire village of people. He hears it from a little unimpressive poor man who only st stammeringly shares the gospel for 30 minutes. Yet in that moment, he comes to believe that Jesus is the Christ resurrected from the dead and that salvation is by faith. It, he never read evidence that demands a verdict. He does nothing about Ventilian apologetics. No reasons to believe were given to him. Nothing about who moved the stone. There was, there was nothing. It was the gospel message. How is it that with that small thing, he's now willing to die for his faith? I think John Calvin, one of his greatest contributions in theology was to answer that question using scripture that it was the work of the Spirit of God testifying to the truth of the message, illuminating his heart and regenerating him. So that should be your concentration, speaking forth the gospel, demonstrating the gospel to your family, which means if, if you try to share with them and they say no, do not badger them. Do not give them a reason to say, look what he's become, a fanatical person who just badgers us and judges us. No, seek to share the gospel with them. If they say we don't want to hear it, stop. And serve them and love them and, and bless them, not in a way in which you're trying to draw attention to yourself, but out of a sincere heart. If she has an honest question, like what about evolution? You, you, you can answer that question, but not thinking that by answering all her questions, you're going to bring her to Christ. It is the power of the gospel. It is always the power of the gospel. And I love what Spurgeon and others have said, you know, with the scriptures, you don't have to defend the scriptures any more than you have to defend a lion. À tous, par cette vidéo, je viens pour vous inviter à la foi chrétienne d'évangélisation La Foucreva qui se déroulera le 22, 23, 24 décembre 2022 à Yaoundé au stade Omnisport Femmes d'Ena. Nous aurons tout d'abord des consultations médicales gratuites. Il y aura le personnel médical qui sera là pour consulter toutes les personnes qui seront sur le site de la foi. Il y aura également la distribution en fait des médicaments et des lunettes pour tous ceux qui en auront besoin. Il y aura également la distribution des dons aux orphelins et aux veuves. Il y aura également un conseil 
gospel qui sera accompagné par une remise de prix. Et également pour ceux qui, pour tout chrétien qui a une activité, qui a un produit, qui veut exposer en fait quelque chose, il y a la possibilité de pouvoir louer des stands en fait durant les trois jours de la Fokriba. Ne manque pas cet événement et ne manque pas de partager l'information pour que le maximum puisse être au courant de cette grande campagne d'évangélisation qui se fera 22, 23, 24 décembre au Cameroun à Yaoundé. Shalom.